Hey, it's uh, it's pretty crazy times right now. I think um, you know, obviously the the regulation in China is uh, forcing people to try and avoid the the yuan, which is uh, you know, it's having a really tough time against the U.S. dollar. Um, you can take a look as well at India, which has just cut you know, 86 percent of. The, the notes in circulation where you look at the 1,000 INR note um, and you're paying a premium to buy Bitcoins in India of up to 12%. And we saw that same level of arbitrage in, in China markets as well compared to the US dollar. So tell me something, Michael. You know, you have this prediction that Bitcoin will be, a one, well, at some point in the future, worth more than gold. How? Um, well, if you look at the principles of Bitcoin, it's actually already met parity with gold back in the end of 2013, or maybe it was the start of 2014, uh, per ounce uh, for one Bitcoin per ounce of gold. Um, but moving forward, you know, Bitcoin has what gold wishes it had. It has divisibility, um, it still has scarcity like gold, but it's also extremely transferable. Uh, you know, if I wanted to get a, a brick of gold to you over there, Rish, it's going to be pretty tough. But um, uh, if I wanted to send you some bitcoins that have the same level of uh, store of value, uh, I can do that pretty quickly. So I think it's a new age for storing value. Yeah, I can get physical bitcoins though, can't I? That's the thing here, uh, Michael. Sorry about what was that, Rich? I can get the, them in the physical form too, can't I, bitcoin? Um, well, you can essentially, actually, there's, there's companies that do print effectively your private and public keys onto a coin. So it's actually printing uh, the information that, that accesses those Bitcoins. You can print it onto a, an actual physical coin, but there's no, there's no Bitcoin mint that's printing out Bitcoins for everyone to go and buy, unfortunately. Now, you're saying Bitcoin should be in every single human being's investment for portfolio, but uh, the point being here, it's been so volatile. I mean, we've seen what's been happening in the last couple of years with it. I mean, do you really want that kind of risk in your portfolios you're suggesting? <sighs> yeah, okay, so that's a really good point. It, look, on the short, in, in a very short side, it's very volatile. Like we saw it up at 1100 you know, within the past three months, and now it's down to $915. You know, for the average uh, household, uh, they're going to have a heart attack if they're watching their, you know, their life savings fly around 20 or 30% every quarter. Um, but if you look at it over the past six years, it's been the top performing currency uh, for every single year, bar one, which was the US, uh, the US dollar was uh, the top performing currency in that year that it wasn't. So over the long term, I think people are, are thinking very short sightedly. Um, over the long term, I think it's a fantastic investment for, for everyone. OK. It's not the only cryptocurrency. This is it. And everybody thinks of cryptocurrencies and they think Bitcoin immediately. I mean, you were telling me before we came on air, I thought there were about well, 20, 30 of them, but you tell me there are over mm. 200 of them. So, I mean, which are the other ones which perhaps uh, are notable and, you know, which have the yeah. same profile as Bitcoin, perhaps? Yeah. And it's, well, there, there's, you know, there's hundreds and probably closer to thousands. Like anyone can, there's services online that you can create your own cryptocurrency um, just for a bit of fun. And you pay $20 and they'll start pumping them out onto your server. Um, but look, looking at ones that actually have value or inherent value is, uh, is tough to find. A lot of people would just say that you've got all these other cryptocurrencies that are simply knockoffs of Bitcoin, uh, for lack of a better term. Um, but then you have uh, protocols like Ethereum that's actually, you know, quite challenging Bitcoin sort of reign on the, uh, on the market of cryptocurrencies. But um, as far as a store of value and sort of uh, being, you know, an iron fort, uh, it's pretty hard to go past Bitcoin. Um, the, a lot of these other cryptocurrencies, the, you know, uh, are making a lot of changes to the protocol and stuff like that. So for, for the average investor looking to invest in that, it, it's tough. Um, but, you know, Bitcoin's built on a, sort of, a certain set of principles, which sort of um, what you buy is what you get, and it's going to be that way for, for quite some time.